What's cracking, y'all? This is James. Get out of here. You're on priceless vapes. And I'm tickled, tickled today because I've got a surprise. Check this out, guys. The smoke propeller. And of course, it's in the mean green. Boy, uh, you guys are gonna love this as much as I do. I promise you. When I come back, we'll dig into this bad boy. Okay, guys, let's dig into this. Normal smoke box. Oh, isn't she a beaut? That is nice. I love that mean green finish. Oh boy. Got a little carbon fiber action on the back. Oh, what y'all think? As bad as I hate to, we'll set this down and get into what's in the box. Pro Color user manual. Battery safety card as usual. And your warranty verification. And your charger slash upgrade cable. And it's pretty simple guys. This is just the mod, so there ain't any tank or anything with it. So that's all that's in the box. I got a special surprise for you guys. If you guys can help me, I'm gonna do something for you. I need 100 subscribers. So I got a little deal. After I get 100 subscribers, the first one to comment will get the smoke stick prints. Yep. I will personally ship you a brand new smoke stick prints for the first one to comment what color that you want after I get that 100 subscribers. So you can go to my other video. I have a review on this and it shows all the colors. So check from the list, the first one to comment the color and it's yours. It's that simple. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. So. I hope you guys boost them subscribers up quick. I have a feeling that it'll be a hundred soon. After that good news, let's get back into some more good news. We're going to get in depth in this so you guys know what time it is. Close up mode. Okay guys, here we are. Like I said before, isn't she a beaut? I've got to call her Mean Green. Got to call her Mean Green. Yeah, I'm crazy. And I'm country. But, that's me. Okay, enough with the top. Firing pins on the left side. And it's pretty sturdy, if you can tell tight you can fire from top middle there's your top 510 thread as usual the machine looking nice they really did a good job with this finish they had the problems last year with the flaking so they revamped it and I do have to say that I enjoy it it's very nice it's a 1.3 inch high definition LED screen. Your charger slash upgrade port on the bottom. Up and down buttons. Your batteries go in the bottom. And these are dual 18650s. You can see down in there there's plus and a minus. It's pretty visible. Everything's looking nice and clean. 
I like the badge look. This around the badge screen, the lights up, and I'll get into that in a minute, but. Ooh, wait. That's all I can say. Ooh, wait. Carbon fiber on the back with your smoke. Pro color, 225 watt. Let's pop these batteries in here and turn the sucker on. Using the Samsung batteries. Hot pink. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> plus on the plus, negative on the negative. It'll do a little smoke thing, but that don't mean it's on. To turn it on, five clicks. go boy that lights up nice and whenever you first put your batteries in guys this always stays on this light and I'll just warn you right now it is a battery drainer so here in a few I'll show you how to change that but as of now that's your wattage in the middle your batteries is on the top A and B smoke on the left corner it's your resistance and there's your wattage your voltage, your pull in, your puffs. Well, that's that. To uh, get into your menu screen, guys, you got uh, three quick clicks on the fire button. And that starts off with your wattage settings. You can go wattage, titanium, nickel, and sterling silver, and memory. And when you're in temperature control, and in temperature control, it goes from 100 degrees Celsius round robin all the way up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. If you hold it down, it scrolls faster. Other than that, it scrolls in point increments. Go back to that. So I normally keep mine on wattage. And when you're in wattage mode, you can go from 6 watts all the way to Two twenty-five. There we go. That's that. Let's bring her back down because obviously we're not going to vape at two twenty-five. After your wattage screen, you've got your puff settings. To uh, select something, you long click. This is your puff clear. If you want to clear your uh, number of puffs out. And this is your color settings for your letters. You can choose from green, blue, purple, yellow, red, and a light blue. I'm going to stick with green. Long press. This is your screen time. How long you want your screen to stay on to save battery. I put mine about 60 seconds. You can choose to auto lock. That is once you get done vaping. If you want to, you can turn that to auto lock, and once you're done vaping, it automatically locks the screen for you, but that's a little bit of a hassle, so I like mine to be on unlocked. So, long press. Long press. Your next screen is for your LED light. There's green. There's light blue purple, dark blue, it's another blue, they like blue, there's white, there's a rainbow color, and that's all the colors. To get the full effect of that, you would need to keep it always on, but that's a battery drainer, like I said. So I'm going to long press on green. The styles you can choose for your light is normal. Get it to where it flashes. 
fades in and out. I like to keep mine on normal. Another long press. You can, this is what I was telling you earlier, you can have it always on. You can keep it off if you don't want your light. You can just when the screen's on. That's a little bit better on your battery, but it's still going to drain. So I like to keep mine only when you're vaping. And the last menu screen is just if you want to power it off. Go over here and push that. And you can push on your power button. And it's off. That's that. So that's pretty much the rundown of this. It feels good. I like that 1.3 inch LED screen. I mean, it's nice and ergonomic. It fits good in your hand. And it's really easy to use. A lot of people was afraid of these screens with all the wattage and all that. It's really, it's really cut and dry, guys. I mean, it don't take a rocket scientist, believe me. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. It didn't take me but a few minutes to figure it out. So that's that. Let's pop up out of here. We'll show you guys how to rip some beast clouds on this. All right. That never gets old, you know it. And I'll never tell you my secret. <laughs> so we're back. And it's time to see what this pro color's got. And the tank we're going to be vaping on today is the TFB12 Prince. And the cool I've got in here today is a 0.15 resistance strip coil. It's one of Smoke's newer coils. And I really like it. The flavor is double intensified. It's not the best mesh coil on the market right now. But it's pretty good. Yeah. Let's screw this trucker on and see what's up. The Aegis we're going to be vaping on today, guys, is, of course, my favorite once again, the AK-47. This is from Bomb Sauce. I picked this up at eLiquid.com. Fast shipping, no problems. Check them out. Bomb Sauce is phenomenal. They got all kinds of juices, but this is a peach strawberry banana smoothie and oh if you like fruity stuff you will love this sauce. e juice i promise and it is bomb sauce but enough of that enough of the chit chat the little white chit chat let's top her off with some e juice and see what's up and one con i have you e juice makers the syringe sucks easy fill bottles i don't know if it costs more what's up with you guys love your eg's easy fill bottles whenever i got this i picked up a easy fill from eliquid.com until you guys make things better i have this so that's what i'll be using to fill it up but it's got my delicious ak-47 delicious <laughs> I keep saying delicious because it is delicious. All right. Yeah, that's much better than using that old syringe and taking 10 minutes. And this cool is rated 4,200 watts and best recommended 80 to 90. But the strip cool, I think, if you don't want to burn it up quick, I know it's recommended, don't vape it at 90 watts. Vape it around, uh, I figured out a sweet spot is about 65. I mean, the flavor's there, it's not too hot. Maybe 70, but no higher than 70. 80 tops. But if you wanna burn your coals up, go ahead and smoke it at 90 and see how fast they last. Maybe three days, but I'm gonna be honest, I know it sounds weird, but it seems like after I vaped on this four or five days, it got better. I don't know if it was just longer to break in with the cotton or what, but I know it's weird, 
the cotton in it is phenomenal. But we're gonna start off vaping at 60 watts, guys. So let's see what we can get out of this. Gotta take a little bit longer draws at 60 watts, but mm, that flavor's good. Shout out to my Broncos. They won that fourth preseason game. I know I'm a good old Kentucky boy, but I love my Broncos. Watch and see if we don't do a little something. I ain't gonna predict no Super Bowl, but I will predict playoffs. And we'll probably go pretty deep. So all you people that's Bronco haters, keep on hating. I ain't a Keenum lover, but I mean, let's face it, guys. He's better than what we had. Lynch. Yeah. S Seaman. <laughs> yeah. Seaman. Hell, yeah, well, he'll fix them. But anyway, that's 60 watts. I'm going to bump her up to 70 and see what we can do here. 70 watts, guys. Vapor consistency check. That strip coal. You guys got to try those. Mm, you guys got to try those strip coals. It's worth it. The flavor is double the Clapton coals. The Clapton Coles is the normal spiral. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got AK in my tummy. You can get some clouds off of this tank. This is one of, this is probably my, mm, it's a close on number one tank that's out there. So, 80 watts, guys. Chuck and chucker. Getting a little warm. I can say the flavor's going down, but like I said, the sweet spot in it is, you know, about 65, 70 watts. So, I think that's what I'll be vaping on the rest of the day. That's what I found to be the little sweet spot. The honey hole. The voltage you're taking on that 70 watt vape is about 3.3 .3 volts, so that ain't too bad. <laughs> Smoke you guys out. I'm loving it. <laughs> but I've had a good time with you guys today showing you the pro color. I almost forgot, guys. There's, oh, I forget how many colors, but I'll show you those and I'll be right back. Hope you liked all those. I know I did. It was hard to choose, but mean green all the way, baby. Okay, guys, it's time for a little thing I've added. It's called the vape fact of the day. I'm going to show you this and read it off to you. And, you know, it's pretty much cut and dry. And to those cigarette companies, the truth hurts. So, here we go. There are 599 additives put into analog cigarettes. Once you start burning a cigarette, those additives create 4,000 chemical compounds. E-cigarettes have approximately four chemical ingredients. Propylene glycol or vegetable glycerin, nicotine, flavoring, and water. That's it. I think it speaks for itself. I hope you guys paid attention to that. I mean, the truth's the truth. I like 
like that and I like this I like you guys if you like me let me know you care push that like button like I said I will personally ship you a smoke stick prints the first one to comment what color they want after I get that hundred subscriber and believe me I'll be watching so smash that button smash it smash it smash it that comment let me know what you think of the pro color the tf b12 prince tank the strip cool anything what you thought of my video let me know i'll reply but i had fun with you guys today so i'm gonna give you one last vape out 70 watts having a good day i'm gonna get off here play me some madden 19 broncos all the way see you guys later